<laughs> First we plie. That's the way, Miss Mimi. Next, releve. Finale, a grand jeté. Plié. We oui. relevé. La jeté.
Cheesy hands and cheesy feet. Roll the cheese, it's such a treat. Cheesy hands and cheesy feet. Roll the cheese, it's such a treat. Let's get some close-ups. Hi, Angelina. Hi, Mr. Mouseling. Hi, Hi, Marco. We're taking photos for the Herald. Great. Did you know that salsa means sauce? It's a spicy sauce. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, um, photo assistant, zoom lens, please. OK, Dad, but why? We need a good shot of the salsa dancers' fancy footwork. The zoom lens will help us get a close-up of their feet. Stupendous! Hello again, Mr Mouseling. Gracie, what are you doing here? I am doing the salsa. What else? Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. I don't have much hope for these photos oh. either. <gasps> Let's take pictures of the musicians instead. Yes. These are great shots. Oh, you could play the conga, Gracie. I can't, but I can pretend. <laughs> Once you know some of the basics, you can make up your own dance. <laughs> Hooray! Let me give you the steps now. Catwalk. Pencil turn. And a van kick. Jump over a log. <laughs> now you can put the steps together in your own way. I'll go first. Now everyone, improvise! Come on, Alice. Let's jump over a log. Excellent! Yes! Welcome spring, sweetest spring, sing out spring. It's the time, right now. You ought to dig and sow, don't you know? That everybody's good to grow. It's spring! Hey, spring! Hey, spring, you are the king! It's the time to dig and sow. Everybody's good to grow. It's spring! It's spring! It's spring! It's the time to dig and sow. Everybody's good to grow. It's spring, welcome spring. It's spring, welcome spring. Sweet is spring, sing out spring. She's a dancing star. She loves to twirl.
other day. There was beautiful dancing. Wonderful jetés, mostlings. Oh, class is over, but I'll see you on Sunday at 12 o'clock sharp in Rookfoot Hall. Now I have to go and make an important phone call. I can't believe we're coming to school and dancing on a Sunday. I know. Isn't it great? Yes. You're sure we'll have a big audience? Absolutely. Sunday Fun Day Dance Show is a huge hit every year. Oh, I've just thought of a great rhythm. Listen. Bum, 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 bum. So catchy. Bum, 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 bum. What? Angelina! Did Miss Mimi just say she's getting married tomorrow? I think she did say that. Wow! I've been so busy, I didn't even have time to get a cake. Oh! She needs a cake! We heard you talking on the phone, Miss Mimi. That is so exciting! Why didn't you tell us? Oh, it's no big deal, really. I've got to go. I'm running late. Bye! Wait, what is his name? Mr. Chirpy Face. Huh? Mr. Chirpy Face? That's a strange name. But nice! This is so exciting! Miss Mimi is getting married! Ah, let's see. The dishes are done, the bin is empty, there's nothing to knit. Whew! I can finally sit down and enjoy some peace and quiet. Ah. Ah. Hi, Mum! Hi, Polly! <laughs> So much for some peace and quiet. I have really big, exciting news. We're having macaroni and cheese for dinner. No, Miss Mimi is getting married. But I love macaroni and cheese. Miss Mimi is getting married? Huh, to whom? Mr Chirpy Face. It's a strange name, but nice. Hmm, I've never heard of him. What does getting married mean? When two people love each other so much they want to spend the rest of their lives together, they get married. Um, like you and Daddy? Yes, dear. So when is Miss Mimi getting married? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why didn't she tell us? She said it was no big deal. But it is, right? Yes, it's a very big deal. I knew it! We need to make sure Miss Mimi has everything she's supposed to have on her wedding day. That's right. Yes. So, what are you supposed to have on your wedding day? Well, she needs a lovely wedding cake. Could we bake one, please? I'm sure she has one. No, she said she didn't have time. Then she'll need flowers, too. I have a flower in my pocket. She can have it. So, a wedding cake, wedding flowers, what else do we need? I know! Let's do a special wedding dance for Miss Mimi. That can be our gift. Let's see. We can start with a pas de char. Or maybe an arabesque. Oh. <gasps> Remember, Angelina? We need something old, something new, but not something broken. Sorry, Mum. What kind of music do they play at weddings? That might help us sort out what kind of dance to do. They usually play wedding music on an organ. Then we'll do a dance to organ music. Yes! Hooray! What's an organ? It's like a piano. But it makes a different sound. What happens is, 
Organs make music when air whistles through their pipes. So instead of going plink like a piano, they go hmm. <laughs> Organs have foot pedals like giant piano keys. Both hands, both feet. Playing an organ is a lot of work. <laughs> but where are we going to get an organ? Your father's music shop. He has some organs there. Go and visit him. He'd love that. Thanks, Mum. Bye. I'll start baking the wedding cake. After a few moments of peace and quiet. <laughs> Ooh, now let me try the pedals. Ooh, this is not easy. I know. What if I play and you turn the pages? Perfect. <sighs> this is the song they usually play on the organ at weddings. It's called the Bridal March. This is so beautiful! We could do the most stupendous wedding dance ever to this! You're in daydream land again. I was just practicing our wedding dance. Miss Mimi is going to be so surprised. It looks like everyone's here, except for Vicky, Marco, and Angelina. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> Hi, Miss Mimi. Sorry we're late. Oh, we were doing some extra rehearsing. So, where is he? Who? Mr. Chirpy Face. Oh, he's in his cage, eating some birdseed. Huh? 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 Right, everyone, places please. It's time to start. Remember, we do the real show, then right after it, we do the surprise. Welcome everyone to Sunday Fun Day. You know it's going to be fun because it rhymes. Thank you for coming today. And now, without further delay, it gives me great pleasure to say, here are the Camembert dancers. Take it away. <laughs> This one's for you, Ms. Mimi. Happy wedding day, Ms. Mimi. Here's a wedding cake for you. And here are some wedding flowers. Some are glued together. We wanted to make sure your wedding day was extra special. Are you surprised? Yes, very. We want to meet your new husband. Where is Mr Chirpy Face? Yay! 
Yes, where That's is he? Yes, yes. yes, where is he? <laughs> I'll go and get him. <laughs> must be really short. <laughs> he is, but he has a wonderful singing voice. Everyone meet Mr. Chirpy Face. The canary. No way. Miss Mimi married a canary? I didn't marry a canary, Marco. I bought a canary. But, but we heard you talking mm. on the phone. And you said you were getting married today. Oh. No. I said I was getting a canary today. You must have heard wrong. Say something really smart and funny, Angelina. Oops. This is so embarrassing. No, it's not, Angelina. Everyone makes mistakes. And you know what? If I do get married, this would be exactly what I would want. A lovely wedding cake. Thank you, Mrs. Mouseling. Lovely flowers. Thank you, Polly. Lovely wedding music, played on a real organ. Thank you, Mr. Mouseling and Marco. You are welcome. And most importantly, I have such lovely students and friends who care enough about me to do all this. Thank you so much. We love you, Miss Mimi. <laughs> I'm glad you're not marrying a bird, Miss Mimi. I don't want you to live in a cage. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was fun! We were zigging and zagging about like anything. All in a perfect formation. Until a certain little you-know-who showed up. Where's the bumblebee? Has he gone? <laughs> <laughs> it was only pretend, Polly. We're making up a dance about bees. Oh, I can do bumblebees. Look. Hey, Polly. Why don't you go and be a busy bee downstairs? I think Mum needs some help. OK. Now it's time for us to think up our own nature dance. And this term's Miss Lily Award for creative interpretation and dance goes to... Team Angelina! Yay! Positively, the greatest day of my life! Hey, I just had the most stupendous idea where we can go. Lots of nature and no little sisters. It's not fair. I wanted to stay and be a bee with all the big girls. I know, dear. But you'll be a big girl one day. Mum, hmm? can we have a snack? to take out to the park. We need to get lots of ideas from nature. <laughs> I don't see why not. Hooray! Can I come? <gasps> Pretty please with cheese. Please, Angelina. Be a good big sister now. We're not being bees anymore. Let's find somewhere to have our snack. I know a really, really good place. Follow me. OK, we've got a great bumblebee dance. What else shall we do? Let's play hide and seek. No, Polly, we're practising for our nature dance. Let's do a bird dance. Yes, stupendous idea. And look, there's a perfect place to land. That was brilliant. We look just like a flock of birds. Yes. All graceful and fluttery, but a bit flappy too. <gasps> Where's Polly? Quack, 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 quack. I'm being a duck now. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't mean that kind of bird, Polly. Stop messing about, Polly. We're trying to do proper dancing. Mm. OK. What else should we try? Mm. I know! Trees! <gasps> yes! Trees blowing in the wind! That's really different! OK, let's try it. And now I'm being a log. A log? Yes. Dad always says he sleeps like a log. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Polly, you are funny. No, she's not. She's just showing off. She's ruining everything. We'll never have our nature dance ready. 
I wish he just stayed at home. <laughs> I'm fed up with Polly tagging along all the time. She's always getting in the way. She's only little. And she's so much fun. Hmm. Sometimes. Where is she anyway? <gasps> She's gone! I've upset her and she's run away! I was only trying to help! I know. She didn't mean to be nasty to you. What's that? <gasps> I don't know. Sounds interesting, though. Let's go and see what it is. Polly! Polly! Polly. Where are you? She maybe she's hiding. Polly, are you in there? What am I going to tell Mum and Dad? I was horrible to her, and now we'll never see her again. <sighs> Hang on a minute. Vicky's not here either. She must have gone with her. What if she hasn't? Polly, Polly, where are you? Hello, over here. Oh, Polly. I thought you ran away. I'm sorry I was mean to you. She's fine. And guess what? We found something really interesting. Come and have a look. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. They certainly love to hop around. Hey, I've got the most stupendous idea. Can we put your grasshoppers in our nature dance, Polly? Oh, yes. Oh, it'll be great. It'll have ziggy, zaggy bees. And flippy, flappy birds. And whooshy windy trees. And hippity hoppity grasshoppers. Oh. Oh. oh, Polly. I do love you. Sisters are special. They're such a treat. I've got a sister, she's so very sweet I feel good when she's around and I want you to know I love my sister so She's fun to be with, she's never mean When I need help, why, she's always keen a part of me I just want you to know I love my sister my little sister I love my sister so our nature dance is going to be amazing yes but I definitely think the grasshopper should be the star of the show Yes! Hippity hoppity grasshoppers! And maybe Marco could compose a special piece of music, like the flight of the bumblebee. Only it'd be. The hop of the grasshopper! She's a dancing star. She loves to twirl all day. She's going to go far That's the Angelina way Follow your dreams wherever they take you You can succeed, don't let anything shake you Angelina, Valerie 
we're doing a show for boy dancers. It's called Hip Hop Boys. I'm the director and Vicky is designing the set. One here, I think. And... One here. Wow, Vicky! Are the boxes and bins there because it's an alleyway? Exactly! Hip-hop music came from the cities where people would dance in the streets and alleyways and anywhere they could. I see. So, what do you think? I absolutely, positively love it. Yes, I was hoping you would. Now, where are AJ and Marco? Don't stop, Marco! I'm just getting into my groove. AJ Mouse is in the house. I'm just glad you're the leader, not me, AJ. You're a much better hip-hop dancer than I am. Here are my hip-hop boys. It's rehearsal time. OK, music, please. And AJ. AJ. Now Marco. Marco? Marco? Marco, I need you on stage. Oh, can't I just drum along to the music instead? Marco, you promised you would be my backup dancer. <sighs> okay, Angelina. Okay, AJ. Once again from the top. Music. And Marco. <sighs> Stop, please. I can drum hip hop, but I can't dance hip hop. Of course you can, Marco. You're a great dancer. I know you are. Totally. I promise I'll keep your moves simple. And anyway, everyone will be watching AJ. Not you. That's right. AJ Mouse is going to be in the... House! <laughs> AJ! AJ! Ow, ow, ow! Oh, no! How much does it hurt? Not much. Ow! Except when I do that. You need to see the nurse straight away. Oh, I suppose this means I have to pull out of the show. What? Oh, no! Sorry, Angelina. <sighs> it's OK. It's not your fault, AJ. I'll manage. Miss Mimi is asleep. <sighs> I don't blame her. Why is the show called Hip Hop Boys if there are no boys dancing? Where are the dancers? <sighs> Ow! I think I'll manage. Somehow. I can't wait for your show, Angelina. I love hip-hop. I saw Vicky's set. It looks incredible. It is incredible. You don't sound very excited. What's wrong, Angelina? Hmm... AJ is your lead, isn't he? AJ was my lead. I don't know how I'm going to put on the show now. If we cancel, I can save some of the set to use another time. But Vicky, your set is stupendous and the hip-hop music is amazing and everyone is looking forward to the show. I don't want to cancel. 
But Angelina, what else can you do? <sighs> I don't know. I was really counting on AJ. No one could replace him. Unless... <gasps> Marco, I've got great news! You have? What? You are the new lead for my hip-hop show! Oh no! <laughs> No, thank you. If I'm the lead, everyone will be looking at me. And I can't dance nearly as well as AJ. You dance the lead, Angelina. I can't. The show is called Hip Hop Boys, and I'm a girl. Oh, that's true. You'll be fine. AJ and I will both teach you. It'll just take lots of practice. Ooh. Just need that last bin, and we're all done. Coming, Vicky. <laughs> Careful, Alice. Whoa. Oh! Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, Alice. We just need to stand them up again. And stand you up again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vicky. There. All done. It looks great, Vicky. Thanks, Alice. This is called a slip and slide move. I just hope Marco can learn all the moves in time for the show. I'm sure he will, Vicky. Angelina is a very good teacher. I know. But they don't have very long. Watch closely, Marco. The move goes out and up. And out and up and out and up and out and up. Relax. Your arms will naturally go with the move. If you say so. Yes! You've almost got it! That was probably just an easy one. Marco Mouse is in the house! OK, this move is a little trickier. It's called the one-two step. I love the one-two step. Right, left, right, left, left. Then back again. Left, right, left, and finish. Right, right. You try. Uh. That's OK. Take your time. Look. Right, left, right, left, left. Oh, I knew this would happen. I just can't do what AJ can do. Don't worry, we'll get it. The show isn't until this afternoon. Right, left, right, left, uh, left, right, left, uh. You missed a left and then two rights at the end. Oh. Have you got it yet? No. Oh. Um, you will. Showtime is any moment, so just keep trying. Angelina and everyone have been working so hard. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be a disaster. Everyone is here. Oh, poor Marco. I've never seen him so nervous. This is all my fault for insisting he should be my lead. He never gets nervous doing what he loves to do. I'd be much happier if I was drumming <gasps> instead. Maybe. Marco? What's Angelina planning? Whatever it is, she'd better hurry. The audience is waiting. Be 
yourself. because today we've got an extra Saturday class. Come on in, Mouselings. It's so nice to see you all on a Saturday. What are we going to learn today, Ms. Mimi? We're going to learn a new word about music. A new word? Listen closely and repeat after me just the way I'm speaking. Today we will learn the word dynamics. Today, we will learn the word dynamics. Today, we will learn the word dynamics. Today, we will learn the word dynamics. Good. What was different between those two sentences? The first one was soft and the second one was loud. Exactly. We changed the dynamics, the loudness and the softness. Music and dance use dynamics, too. So what was the new musical word again? Dynamics! Right! But what does dynamics have to do with dancing, Ms. Mimi? I'll show you. Could you and Angelina please help me? You got it. Let's play some music. And you can dance however the music makes you feel. Can't wait! That was lovely. Did you change your movements as the music changed? Yes. When the music was quieter, we did tiny little movements. And when the music was louder, we did jetés and pirouettes. 
Good. Now it's time for you all to have a turn. Yay! job, everybody. Saturday classes are the best. And they really help us catch up with all the things we don't have time to do in the week. Okay, see you soon. And don't forget, it's Mother's Day tomorrow. <gasps> Mother's Day? Are you all right, Angelina? I forgot all about Mother's Day. I didn't get my mom anything. But when I got home, mom was having problems of her own. Oh, dear. Everything okay, Mum? Of course, dear. But I've just found these. What's in them? They're boxes from the old house. We haven't gotten round to unpacking them yet. They're all my old cookbooks, and I need to put them somewhere. Wow, there's tons of them. <laughs> I know. Way more than I remember. Where can you put them, Mum? I can put them in there. But I'm just so busy. I promised Mrs. Thimble I'd sew up her cushions for her. Hmm. Are you okay, Angelina? You looked a bit worried when you came in. Uh, I'm fine, Mum. Just fine. Bye. Psst. Polly. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. Oh, what's Mother's Day? It's a day where you give your mum a present and do nice things for her. I love my mum. I do too, but we didn't get anything for her. We could make a card. Great idea, Polly. I think I've got some paper. Here. And some crayons. That'll be so nice, Polly. But I wish we could give her something else as well. There. I've finished the cushions. Shh, Mum! Polly's having a nap. But Angelie... But I thought I just heard her. You did, but... Uh, she suddenly fell back to sleep again. She's very tired. <laughs> OK. Lucky her. <laughs> I haven't even had time to sort out my books. I just thought of the perfect present. Yay! <laughs> the next morning was Mother's Day. There you are, Angelina. Just like your mother likes them. Mmm, carrot and raisin. <laughs> Thank you. Since today is a special day for a special mum, we've made you your favourite breakfast, muffins. With a little help from Dad. Here, for you. Happy Mother's Day. As a lovely present for a lovely mum. We are going to unpack the boxes of books for you and put them away neatly. Oh, It's so you can have a nice rest because you've been so busy. Right after breakfast, Mum put her feet up while we got to work. I'm looking forward to a peaceful rest. 
The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Oh dear. Down came the rain. Must be hard to read with all that singing going on. Mm, a little bit, yes. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. One more! Make it higher! Oops! <laughs> Girls, uh, your mum is trying to rest, and it's a bit hard with all this noise going on. Oh no! Sorry, Dad. Sorry. We'll try and be quieter, I promise. I promise too. I'm sure your mum would appreciate it. Hmm. What is it, Angelina? We were going to give Mum a really nice Mother's Day, and we've made too much noise. And a big mess. Are we going to build some more? No, Polly. We need to put them away now. Okie dokie. La 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 la. And we need to do it quietly. So Mum can relax. Okie dokie. Shh. I know. Ms Mimi was talking about dynamics yesterday. Loud music may make you want to jump around. But quiet music may make you feel like dancing very softly. Polly, would you like to help me? Yes, please, with cheese. I want to sing a quiet little song. Can you sing along with me? Hmm, guess so. And while we're doing it, we can put the books away. OK, Angelina. Helping hands are gonna make the house work light. If you do your share, it's gonna feel right. Everybody's helping, whether big or small. Got to do your best, and that's all. Wouldn't it be nice if you made your bed each day? Shh. If you want to have fun, two are better than one. It's the same with the dishes to get the job done. If you want to make a difference and to make your mom proud, don't wait to be asked. And be quiet, not loud. Wouldn't it be nice if you put your toys away? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> now that's a whole lot better, I have to say. The books are now put away, Mum. Really neatly. Oh, thank you, girls. I can't wait to see what you've done. I loved your quiet singing, girls. And so did Mum. It's all because of dynamics, Dad. Quieter music can make you do things quietly. Yay, we did dynamics! Oh, thank you, my darlings. You have done a dynamite dynamic job. I can't believe how lucky I am to have two such thoughtful girls. And we're so lucky to have such a lovely mum. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day.